Hello and welcome into this edition of Cronkite Sports Live alongside Scotty Gange. I'm Alex Gall. And Scotty, I have to ask you, it's our first time at the CSL Anchor Desk. How are you feeling, man? After this weekend's Territorial Cup sweep, the Sun Devils next host the Oregon Schools next weekend in their final regular season matchups of the season. ASU baseball starts their season on February 16th with a matchup versus Miami, Ohio, and Spencer Vanskoy hopes that he's standing on that mound that night and for every Friday during the season beyond that. The Longhorns blitz the Sun Devils in the third quarter, picking up 12 fast break points on the day and picking up 54 points down low in the paint. And while Torkelson's home run might not have gone all the way to the Pacific, it did bring him to within three of ASU's freshman home run record set by Barry Bonds in 1983. And the one thing that she can do really well is Robbie Ryan cuts into the 3-2 zone defense right there. She recognizes where she is on the floor as her man steps up to take Ryan. She drops right down, gets the easy layup. Good spacing right there. The other thing she does is space out the floor, a 42.6% three-point shooter. Wow. Look at all that space there down low. All she has to do right here, she takes the easy pump fake. She'll step right in to the short corner for the easy mid-range jumper. And let's look at this swing. Right there, eyes on the ball. The other thing, he stays closed. A lot of young hitters today will try and pull that ball to right field, open up a bit too early. Torkelson stays closed, and that's why he has such good power to center and right field. Well, any team starts and goes with their quarterback. Manny Wilkins had an inconsistent 2017 campaign. And if ASU wants to move forward with this team, they're going to need more consistency out of him. We've seen him in spring practices make bombs all the way down the field, 30, 40 yards. We've also seen him struggle in the late down situations, third, fourth down, not being able, not being able to make complete passes on those downs. The struggles of Arizona State baseball this season are widely documented. While the team sits at 6-6 six and six in the Pac-12 Conference this season, they are a season low five games under 500 overall. The Devils lost two straight to the USC Trojans last weekend, even after winning the Friday night clash to begin the series. All right, when you look at the number one team in the country, Scotty, do you know who it is? The Washington Huskies. Mm -hmm. Thank they you. have two losses the entire season. Both of these losses the Washington Huskies, I like yeah, it. Yeah. are to the Arizona State Sun Devils. I like the purple as well. <laughs> They're to the Arizona State Sun Devils. So when you look at any team in the country that could be the top five opponent, I think it's very fair to think the Arizona State Sun Devils could be the team to take two of three or even looking for the sweep. For number one, we're going to stay at Farrington Stadium. Here it is, Kendra Hackbarth. Her first career home run to right center field right there also happens to be a grand slam, Scotty. <laughs> Beautiful stroke right there from Kendra Hackbarth, who's been helping pace this dominant ASU offense all season. Look at it there on the replay once again.